Thanks for watching. My name is James Robertson with Workspace Real Estate, and today we're at Minute Maid Park. We are about to see a great matchup. The Astros, of course, are going to win. We did the World Series before, and so that's right. Go Astros. Such an exciting time to be an Astros fan. I know a lot of people here in Houston are really excited about how the Astros are doing. And now that we have a World Series here in the Houston market, a lot of people are asking, what's the economic impact of the World Series here in Houston? More importantly, what's the economic impact from a commercial real estate perspective to the surrounding retail in this market? So we asked a few people. I want you to hear their thoughts. Excuse me, sirs. How are you guys doing? I'm James with Workspace. We're asking uh, patrons of the Astros games here what they think the economic impact would be from the World Series. So what are your thoughts? What businesses would you think would really benefit from the World Series being here in Houston? Parking. Yeah, parking and restaurants and bars. And you know, our son couldn't get tickets, so he's headed down here to a bar. Oh, the bars. <laughs> the bars, definitely. <laughs> I know, I'm sure like the aquarium, not just the nightlife, but there's other things for families to do also. You're asking me based on all my economic knowledge? Well, as a Houstonian, are you spending dollars before the game or after the game today? Absolutely. And where are you going? Uh, where are we going, baby? We'll probably find some little hole in the wall bar. <laughs> That's the best kind. All right, Steve, how is business right now? It's booming. Is it much busier now from the World Series than it is in normal games? It is. It's much, be it's much easier. OK, so you, so you say about double almost, or what? I, I would say about double. Yeah. What the Astros bring to the city and to the economy is you can't count it in just money because the way they lift the spirits, the way they get everybody involved. Restaurants, obviously, food. This this area too, especially downtown. I lived here in 2003 when it was starting to be revitalized, but you'd come out on the streets on the weekend and it felt like an apocalypse uh, because there, there wasn't anything here yet. Now it's actually vibrant. For a small business that's looking to be in this area, would you say the World Series events like this, is it worth it to spend your dollars at least here versus another market? You know, I, I think it just depends on the business. It really would be great if there was ample parking for um, the Minute Maid. This is the urban core of Houston, and there's been a really big push to bring in more rooftops here. And when I say rooftops, what I should say is more tenants, more people renting space, and taking advantage of the multifamily that's going on here. Now, when you look at the retail market here, it's the fourth smallest in the entire city. The average rents are about $26 a foot, and the annual rent growth is less than 2%, not stellar. It's better in other places. It's better in the Woodlands, it's better in Sugar Land, it's better in the Galleria. But it's good here and it's getting better. The city of Houston just recently pushed an initiative where developers were given a $15,000 per door incentive. Oh, for develop 15,000 per unit yeah. for, developers? for developers? When you talk to people about where they get excited about moving, it's this area. It's east downtown, it's downtown. It's There's a lot more inventory where before, you know, I moved here in 2002, there really weren't a lot of options down here. And now there are a lot of fun options. I know a lot of retirees or people approaching retirement that have sell, sold, their houses in the, uh, sold their houses in the suburbs and are moving back down here. You're doing the opposite. Like nobody retires and moves to the country anymore. You're retiring and moving into the city so you can be around everything. We expect that to increase retail. It hasn't yet, but it will. And there's a couple of really big developments that are coming online. There's a Lyric market that's coming online that's going to be about 30 to 40,000 square feet. And I think the highest development company is putting that up very close to this area. And you also have a huge multi-development here that used to be the post office that's going to be half a million square feet. That almost doubles the total amount of retail in this entire market. That just shows you how small this market was and what they're actually doing in the city to make changes. So I'm frankly excited about the outlook and unfortunately, it's not tied to the World Series, but we're happy because we love our Astros and we want them to win. So if I had to sum up, who's gonna benefit from this World Series? I would tell you businesses that are flexible, that are mobile, that are able to move quickly and take advantage of the spike. So if you have a mobile truck, uh, food truck, so to speak, if you have a restaurant that can take advantage of a sublease, those are the businesses that will genuinely see an impact. On the multifamily side, Airbnb all the way. Is there anything you wanna say to all the Astros fans out there? Thank y'all all so much for all your support. And come on in, you know Steve will hook you up. That's beautiful. Steve, thank you so much, sir. You have a good one. Well, you heard it from Steve. Y'all come on back. Let's continue to bolster the small business community here in Houston. And I hope that the Astros fans spend a lot of money with local business here in Houston. This is James Robertson signing off. Go Strohs.